Duncan Coach was just in here talking about how these are strange and different times. Um, obviously, you know what the Bulls are going through. Seven players out. You guys learn Caleb probably playing the best basketball of his life is denied a chance to follow up the other game. What's it like inside the locker room? Learning about you're playing an opponent with seven positive tests. Your guy tests positive. You have basketball to play. You're all vaccinated. Coach just told us everyone's boosted. What are these times like? Yeah, I mean, it's uh... – it's been a bunch of firsts, obviously, you know, since this whole pandemic started and, uh, you know, there's been a lot of kind of changing on the fly and having to adjust. So at this point, I think as a group, we're all kind of used to it, you know, kind of at this point, we kind of expect the unexpected. So uh, obviously feel for Caleb, uh, especially with how well he's been playing lately. Um, but, you know, first and foremost, hope he's, he's feeling all right. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we want to get him back out as soon as possible. But, yeah, it's just a part of it, you know. Every team is going through it in some capacity. Okay, in general, but especially on a night like this when he was kind of dealing, how much does how much easier does Kyle make life on the offensive end? Yeah, I mean, he's just – he's so unselfish. Uh, he has a just unique ability to just find people um, in, in little moments and little windows where they're maybe don't even look like they open, but he kind of has that feel for it. Uh, he's a luxury to play with, and it doesn't turn the ball over. Uh, super unselfish. And, uh, you know, when he's aggressive, I, I think that's when he's at his best, you know, still hunting for his own offense because, you know, he just becomes even more a threat. Duncan, I know, uh, and Eric just talked about this, that the focus with you is always on the three-point shooting, but you were four for four inside the line tonight and, and were able to find some counters to things that they were doing. How much do you think you've progressed in terms of that part of your game, um, you know, finding other things in the mid-range and, and whether it's with fakes or whatever, getting off other kinds of shots? Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I definitely think uh, I've improved in that area. Uh, leaps and bounds since I've gotten here, you know, but especially over – over the years, you know, I feel like I've, I've just, you know, it's incremental and, and you kind of said it, I, people are always going to look at the three point percentage or whether or not I'm making threes, um, but that's kind of what comes with the territory. So I get that, but, uh, you know, I do feel like I'm, I'm capable and effective in other ways as well. All right, Duncan, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.